Well, I'm William Joseph James. <laughs> My friends always call me Bill. I'm now emeritus professor, but I'm still conducting a bit of research here. I became assistant professor in chemistry in 1953. They had very big classes. Almost everybody that came in had to take introductory course in chemistry. I had one girl in that class. Barbara, I think, was the top student. The real shock to me was I gave my first hour exam. And my hour exam was a mix of true-false. The only difference was, in my true-false, if the statement you said was false, you had to correct the false statement to the true statement. I got the exam back, and boy, I had a job. So I started grading them. Oh my gosh. I couldn't read the writing. The spelling was unbelievably bad. When I gave the papers back, boy, the grades were pretty bad. A lot of Fs. And I said, if you can't communicate, what you know, to whomever you're working for or working with, you're a failure. And I said, you may feel badly about this exam and what you've done. I said, but you can't possibly feel any worse than I do. So I went back to the class and I said, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do on your next exam. Because as far as I was concerned, I had failed. I think there was a groan that <laughs> came up out of the class. I said, oh. Okay, I said, I realize it puts a lot of pressure on you. But I'll tell you what, all those points that I take off, I'm going to keep a record. It'll go on with your grade, and I'm going to put all those points in escrow. And when you're ready to graduate, if you've shown me you've made an improvement, then I think you're ready to go on. And that helped. I wasn't all that sure it was going to work, but by gosh, it did. In 1955, Dr. Stromanus, whom I worked with a little, he was a Latvian refugee that came to work here in metallurgy. The only professor that I found when I was here that was doing research. And he had done a little work in crystallography, so we became good friends and we discussed each other's research. The teachers would be better teachers to be doing research because you're looking into something you don't know, that you don't understand, and that's what you should be doing. You want to understand it, because once you understand it, you can pass it on to the students. I always tell my graduate students, if you weren't better than I was, then I would not have done my job. Students will often insist that that's not possible, but I tell them, it better be. <laughs>